ever. You're up way past your bedtime, aren't you? Hola. Hope you've slipped into something comfortable. I know I have. If you're new to town or just new to this whole radio thing, you're listening to The Dead of Night. The only girl who will spend the night with you and leave first thing in the morning, guaranteed. Well, looks like the boards are lighting up. Another popular one. Let's see. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Who will be the lucky caller? You've got the... Where to? See your face is not so lifeless, your nerves not so deadened that you cannot express shock. Tell me, child, is my appearance that frightening, or is it my knowledge of you that is so unnerving? Oh, child of Cain, the sights in this haven pale in comparison to my ancestral estate. Comfort is a custom, and all of this artifice brings me closer to my home. Do not fear for my furniture, young one. Oh yes, the tape. Merely a test. Certainly not intended to fall into mortal hands. Fortunately, we are in the capital of mortal trickery and illusion. So did the tape drive you to find me? From whence flows your longing, child? To gouge out the eyes of the Camarilla. The sewers are clogged with my creations. I will kill or drive the Nosferatu from their pestilent nests. Without the sewer rats to guide them, the Camarilla will be blind to the Sabbat's designs. I see the weariness in your eyes. You grow tired of the yoke that us the elders of the Camarilla have thrown on your back. You squander your time, heaving their dead weight forward. And for what? Yes, the air is rife with the potency of your blood, Cainite. Join me and defy your masters. Unshackle the beast within. Allow your true potential to flow freely into the night. Act as the sword of Cain. Be a servant to no one, and a brother to all kindred that have found the truth of the Sabbath. The Sabbath serves a purpose other than itself. While your Camarilla elders quiet the panicked whispers of Gehenna, 
We fight for freedom, salvation from the blood of the antediluvians, staving off the inevitable end to this world. The Sabbat is no willing servant of the ancient's child. That is the difference. Yes, doom is palpable in the night air and hangs over this city like the Damascus sword. If the Camarilla is unwilling or unable to do what is so clearly necessary, then it is the heavy burden of the Sabbat to send the sleeping ancient the same way as my own plans antediluvian. How would you waste an eternity, skulking in the shadows, hiding from the mortal cattle that inhabit our world? On your knees before the Camarilla that would claim themselves your rightful masters? Or would you let the ancients themselves control you with a whim? Once you embrace truth, Knight, you will see the absurdity of your question. Cowering before and coddling the mortal vassals, it makes me wretch. We are beasts of stronger blood, meant to subjugate the whole of humanity. The only masquerade is that which the elders play on the clueless members of their pathetic Camarilla courts. Their fecal rules of engagement with our food is merely a tool for extorting the young. No, this. We control our mortal herds through the only persuasion they need understand. Brute force. No, entrance to the Sabbat is forged in a crucible, your strength tempered, your loyalty steeled, even one as powerful as you. Your circumstances are odd. You must first prove yourself truly free from the bondage of the Camarilla. Unspeakable horror, child. Unspeakable horror. Agony, hunger, and pain inaugurate our ranks. Know that what will be asked of you is a gift in the eye of those Sabbat born out of creation rites and mass embrace. You're being given a second chance at unlife. Do not waste it. Your allegiance to the Camarilla must be severed completely. Make yourself irredeemable in their eyes. My hapless minions scour the tunnels below, looking for the sewer rat's nest. It's time to put the task to more capable hands. I know many things about you, Knight. Your mind's eye is open wide to me. Do you find it disturbing? Very good. After you find your way through the tunnels to the sewer rat's nest and have laid waste to their helpless leader, Return to me downtown in the Hollowbrook Hotel. They are capricious, impetuous, simple beasts capable only of simple thoughts and effective only at what they were designed to do, to kill. I will do what I can to move you through the maze below with as much haste as possible. 
I can sense your desire to be liberated from the fetters of the Camarilla. Do this, and in like company, you will be free to let the beast roar proudly that the whole city would cower before your might.
By the clack smack cracking of my thumbs, something wicked this way comes. I don't remember seeing you on the guest list for the dinner party. We're having a rap party for the misfits about forty years late. Cast and crew only, boss. Now you're just saying things to piss me off on purpose. Maybe I'm in your head. Uh-oh, you might have picked up one of those psychoses so common to new kindred. <laughs> How do you know I'm even here, boss? You're used to getting what you want, aren't you, lovely? People just love your charisma, your face. They eat your words up like the rats eat the cheese in the trap. Oh, boss, where do you think you are? Do go on. You may be on to something, boss. Or maybe you're still talking to yourself. Insanity isn't given enough credit. The insane know not what they do. Do you? I'll show you the cards I've been dealt, but you put yours on the table first. Maybe I'm a ghost. <laughs> oh, come on. Don't tell me you just stumbled down here. What I need to know is why you're here. I'm over here, boss. Wait, maybe I'm over here. Or maybe I'm behind you with a hatchet in my hand. Or did you ever stop to think that your fear, if given a voice, would sound like this? <laughs> I want to stick your lovely face in a piranha tank. I want to apply an acid glaze to your sculptured body. I want to throw your pocket mirror under a thresher and watch you fetch it. But I'm no butcher, boss. Are you... <laughs> liar, liar, pants on fire. You can't kill what you can't see. Try to kill me? The knight's got a thousand eyes, boss, and all of them are mine. You wouldn't like it, being watched every second of the rest of your short life. You don't say. Wake up, boss. Who do you think you're dealing with? Why else would LaCroix send you on this snipe hunt? Oh, that's right. I know you work for the Prince. Because I like the sound of my own voice. It's not every day we get visitors, boss. I needed to hear it from you. You're a long way from home, and neither the Prince nor Isaac nor Nines have any domain down here. Tread carefully. You should have got here sooner. That lot's been sold. I like to discuss business face to face. Are you sure, boss? You don't want my image in your subconscious. It's the stuff nightmares are made of. Careful what you wish for. You just might. Get it? <laughs> Behind you, boss. Boo! Oh, God, Toreador! You vainglorious narcissistic poser! How I loathe that determination of your kind to belie your true nature with Paris fashions and pomp! You are a dead thing, a creature of the shadows. Start acting like one. <laughs> you don't get it, do you? Sit and look pretty. Pretend you never died. Do some finger painting. What a pathetic waste of blood. 
Where, where, where did it go? That thing seems to get around more than Mae West. Why might I ask, should I give you that information?
Need a ride? Turn. I knew the sweet smell of freedom, the bitter taste of death, would tempt you back to the cradle of the Sabbath. No longer will you live to be a mere lapdog. Welcome home. The city is ablaze with rumors of your betrayal. Soon, the full truth of your treason shall reach your former slave drivers. They will know the air of their ways, spurning such a promising young canine, and the full account of their casualties. Show me what is left of the so-called Gary. What? You incompetent wretch! Weakness is not tolerated among the Sabbat! Failure is a crime! Explain yourself at once! Or perhaps your skeleton would be better suited as an ornament on my wall. Excuses! Pathetic excuses! Perhaps you've spent too long sniveling at the foot of your prince to be true, Sabbat. The sarcophagus! Killing the Nosferatu was merely a testament to your loyalty. The true prize is the sarcophagus. If we can find the artifact, then you have truly earned your place among our ranks. Tell me, what have you learned? Interesting. Doom overshadows the city. You are packless, without direction. You have failed your trial. Yet, I see a road. A resolution to all that woes. The Sabbat encompasses the many, but our true strength flows from the few. Every soldier in our service counts themselves among a cell, a pack. With your brothers you share your blood, your essence, and in return, you will come to trust these few with your life, as they put their existence in your hands. As a refugee from the Camarilla, you are without pack. Not being born into our ranks, you are without sire and without friends. Only through strength, guile, and resolve Will you earn the respect of a pack that would take you among their own? It is an opportunity as much as it will serve as a testament to your loyalty. East LA is rife with our ranks. 
To go there, seeking patronage from the many packs on a noble quest to secure the sarcophagus, would be a fitting baptism indeed. Your presence will not go unnoticed. I will inform the Dakti you have the blessings of the Archbishop. But introductions are in order. When you arrive, speak with Victoria, a powerful Setite that operates within the Domain. Tell me, what vexes you, child? What, exactly? Yes, read this. A copy of the Code of Milan. The principles which define our sect. The Constitution, if you will, for your American ears. These fundamental guidelines ensure the stability of the Sabbat. And heeding these rules ensures you will avoid the punishment of your elders. Common sense. Do not lie or defy your leaders. Do not show cowardice or weakness. And most of all, do not betray or fail the Sabbat. Some packs may be more forgiving of such transgressions. But never expect anything but the harshest of punishment if you break these basic tenets. What exactly? The Sword of Cain is the moniker used to describe us. It is an accurate, if colorful, description. We have all seen the signs of coming Gehenna. It is commonplace to witness the evidence of the all-powerful Dark Fathers. The Camarilla is content to quarrel amongst one another for luxuries. But when those monstrosities finally rise up to consume us all, we, the Sabbat, will stand ready as Cain's army and defend this kingdom in his name. Must I truly persuade you? Surely you have considered from whence your sire came. But what of his sire, and his sire's sire? You have seen the increase in power from childer to sire, and the inheritance of the curses through bloodlines. Books as old as history itself confirm this all. Is it so hard to believe our all-powerful Dark Father still haunt this world? That is a matter of intuition, child. With age, perhaps raw animal instinct will one night serve you as well. What exactly? Which clan? The Keepers are born leaders, seductive, manipulative, and brutal. Their blood gives them access to even the darkest corners of the city, where only the most sordid secrets are told. Yet for all their merit, they cling to their mortal vices like a child to its treasured toy. Which clan? We are a noble bloodline, hailing from the provinces of Eastern Europe. The Iron Curtain has fallen, but still we squeeze blood from the land with clenched fist. Endurance and stoicism make us who we are, and through those virtues we lead and focus the Sabbat, keeping the sect's actions in line with its spirit. Which clan? You are now counted among them, child. Antitribu are the bold. Some are fortunate enough to be born into this Sabbath. 
Others, like yourself, have the resolve to defy the ossified Camarilla society to which they've grown accustomed. Any Cainite is welcome to show the courage and wisdom to join the Sword of Cain. It is no coincidence that those that have spurned the Camarilla are oft the most impassioned members of our sect. What, exactly? Tell me, what vexes you, child? Who? Strauss. <laughs> Curse his name. He hides his sins and plays the part of the benign academic well. But I know his treachery. I have seen his inhumanity personally. He has mangled countless members of my bloodline to satisfy his studies and secure his precious chantries. The Tremer curse their blood. They steal their power. From where do you think his stony guardians come? The Gangro, the Nosferatu, and my own clan pay the price for their dark magics with our blood. My own children have been torn asunder by Strauss himself, but vengeance is close within my reach. I can taste it. Who? Despite everything he stands for, despite his ignorance and his pride, in honest child, he is not unworthy of respect. He conquested for this city at the perfect moment, his timing impeccable, his guile, his political agility, second to none. No. One does not reach his position without ruthless cunning, that which is worthy of the Sabbat itself. You must know your enemies better than you know your friends, child. Do not mistake this wisdom for weakness or envy. Who? The Anarchs, a lost cause. The Anarchs are more a reflection of the Sabbat than they wish to believe. The loudest and most outspoken of them all, the mongrel Bruja upstart. I would gladly take such a proud fighter into our ranks, but with futility he clings to the vestiges of his humanity. He says they fight for freedom, Yet they all remain helpless slaves to their feeble humanity. Tell Rodriguez that he has a place here when he's willing to truly know sacrifice. Who? Yes? Please. I would not be so vain. It is a pleasant surprise to meet another that can appreciate my art, especially one so young, twisting and contorting sinew and bone to their absolute limit is a marvel that has consumed me for decades, perhaps longer now. I am sure you know the same succulent taste of obsession well. My craftsmanship in vicissitude is the divine intersection of anatomy, sculpting, and self-reflection. But the many fantastic abilities, my wondrous creations, my unique furniture, it is all novelty. The true purpose of the art is research, surgery, vivisection. All are experimentations with the limits of the living. I once opened up a live man that I could watch as his body digested food. 
who. Yes. Tell me, what vexes you, child? Where to? We are here. There is something troubling you? If that is your decision.